Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and it's DLC day for the hotly anticipated Tuners DLC for GTA Online and there's going to be a lot to cover in this one. So I am streaming right now on Twitch. If you're watching this video in the first couple of hours of it going live, I'll be streaming on Twitch, showcasing all the new content, all the new cars, the new facilities, things like that. Click the link in the first line of the description. I'll also link it in the pinned comment as well. It will give you the links that you need depending on when you're watching this video, whether you will see the VOD or anything like that. I'm starting the Twitch stream the moment this video goes live, so 9am UK time. The DLC, GTA DLCs normally drop and are made available around 10am UK time. So one hour after this video goes live, one, after hour after, one hour after I start streaming. And I'm going to be streaming for a few hours, showcasing everything, looking at some info early, looking at all the new cars, the new location, new races, new features, what's available initially, what's held back. We might also get to be able to look at the drip feed cars as well, the vehicles that are sort of held back for later on. Basically, I'm in the Twitch stream, I'm going to be showcasing and exploring the new DLC, discovering things as we go just to showcase everything that's available for those who want to see it as quickly as possible. After the Twitch stream, I generally do a YouTube stream as well, and that's going to be the case today. It's a bit more succinct and generally is a summary of everything that we've discovered in the Twitch stream. It's a quick look at the new cars and any info we found out during that Twitch stream. And it's more possible to watch the YouTube stream as a video, which is what it will become after it's done because it's a little bit more easily digestible and contains everything that you need. You don't need to go to multiple videos, you know, one new video on it on a new car and then another new video on another new car or a new video for each new feature. It's all going to be in that YouTube showcase stream. I'm going to go through everything in sort of a relatively succinct way, but in enough detail that it gives you everything that you need in that one YouTube stream, which will then become a video afterwards. And I just that's just the way that I like to do things. I'd like to try to keep everything in the same place so it's easy for you to know what the deal is with the DLC and, and how much you're going to want to get involved with it. In general, I guess you could say that the Twitch stream gives you the information as early as possible, whereas the YouTube stream gives you all the information as quickly as possible. So, like I said, I'll update the links in the description and the pinned comment for everything that you need. So if you're watching this, in the first few hours of it going live you can click those links it will take you to the live twitch stream or the live youtube stream if you're watching it a few hours later they'll take you to the vod for the twitch stream and the the footage for the youtube stream as a video and you can watch those afterwards it's all going to be down there in the pinned comment in the description the twitch stream is normally for around three hours and then the youtube stream is normally for around one hour so basically the entire morning is going to be looking into this DLC and showcasing it for you guys. Now, after that, my attention generally turned to car testing. As you guys probably know the score by now, the proper car testing that I do with lap times and top speeds as scientifically and as properly as possible, it takes some time and I'm not one for pumping out as much content as possible just for the sake of it. So I'm also gonna be doing a different take on it this time when it comes to the testing videos because I'm going to do all the cars for lap time in a single video and then all the cars for top speed in a single video rather than splitting it up per class. So there's 10 cars at launch. Say, for example, three of them were in the muscle class, three of them were in sports, two of them were in supers. Those would be, you know, three specific videos with the two supercars in one video, the three muscle cars in another video, the three sports cars in another video. I'm not going to do that this time. That generally makes a bit more sense if you're watching these things through later on and you see the faster supercars video on the playlist and then you're able to see sort of the updates to the faster supercars. But I kind of want to go back to being able to just make a single video that you guys can sort of look forward to that contains every car that's available so you'll get the full list of all the vehicles that are available in this tuner's DLC on day one and you'll know the lap times and the top speeds for all of them all in one go. So that's the plan but obviously with that it does take time you know that's 10 cars that I need to test 
that each card takes at least 15 minutes to test for lap time and then another 15 minutes for top speed. So that's many, many hours to actually test these cars, assuming everything goes perfectly well, which it might not. And assuming that, you know, I can just have access to these cars to drive them and test them in the first place. There might be some things that we don't anticipate, certain cars that are locked behind certain features that are going to take time to unlock you know, certain vehicles that aren't raceable and I can't test them at all, that all may complicate things. So I won't know until, you know, we delve into it, but I would say don't expect any testing today on day one. I'm hoping to get a lap time video done for Wednesday and a top speed video done for Thursday if I work hard. But like I say, it's not set in stone but at least this way you know there's going to be a single video for lap time and a single video for top speed that will contain all the vehicles and you can just sort of wait and keep your eyes peeled and notifications on and all that stuff for those videos but yeah like i said don't expect anything on day one it's just not feasible to do all that kind of testing whilst also showcasing everything at the same time i can only do so <laughs> can i do one thing at a time uh, if you do want these lap times and top speeds as early as humanly possible then check out youtube memberships and patreon support because when i'm finished with testing a vehicle I, the lap times and the top speeds are posted there first in text format and then i get on to making the videos so you know if, if you really can't wait there is youtube memberships and patreon support and it also obviously supports me during this time where i'm going to be super busy and trying to you know work hard to get all these out as well it will all be getting done as quickly as i possibly can but as always as accurately as i can as well and to do things properly like this it does take time then it will move on to the drip feed showcase that was something that i generally try to get out on day one if i can it depends on whether the vehicles are available but like i said 10 vehicles are going to be coming on launch day rockstar have already said that seven are going to be held back for the drip feed and be available over the coming months and i'll aim to showcase those seven vehicles in a separate video again like i said hopefully today so you can basically have a true indication of which cars you might want to spend your money on you know it's pointless you buying a car now if there's a car coming two weeks down the line that you would have rather spent your money on instead so i always try to get that kind of information out first so you've got a good indication of what you might actually want to spend your money on and then it comes the lap time and top speed stuff so you know if the car that you really want is going to be you know good enough for or, or up to speed or what, what you actually want and where you want to spend your money in that way as well so yeah the drip feed stuff it will be coming and hopefully i'll get it done today but no pro again no promises on any of this but keep an eye out for that as always with this kind of stuff just make sure you're subscribed to the channel make sure you've got notifications on you're following me on twitter even just checking the channel to make sure you don't miss any videos there's going to be a lot of content as usual and this dlc in particular is right up my alley with it being the first truly car themed dlc in quite a long time so there'll be plenty of testing plenty of content to to come based around it for now though if you're watching this in the first few hours check the twitch or youtube streams otherwise check the channel for videos and just make sure that you're keeping abreast of all my stuff because i'm sure we're gonna have plenty of fun with it Thank you guys as always so much for the support. I'm ready to do all the testing and all the stress that's involved in these DLC weeks. But uh, yeah, your support makes it all worthwhile. So thank you for coming out to the videos. Thank you for the support, whether through donations or memberships or Patreon. And just in general, liking videos, commenting, just being here. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you're looking forward to uh, the DLC and of course the testing videos as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very shortly.